I believe like humans are very social creatures. Um, we we like that tactile kind of experience of of playing together. And I think for most of most of history, um, when we had fun, we we did it with other people kind of in person at an event or you know a sport or something. Um, and then it's only kind of in recent years where we've had the ability to kind of play together but apart. Unlike video games online, tabletop gaming is meant to be played in person. Tabletop board gaming is is more than just a game. It's it's a a vast array of different hobbies. Okay, there's uh, there's building, modeling, painting, uh, and then there's the playing of it. But there's also a huge uh, story behind the game. Some games like the superhero games, like Marvel, we see here. This is. Uh, from comic books, gone to movies and TVs now that nerd culture is so popular and out in mainstream media, and then it's gone into tabletop gaming. Uh, other games started out in tabletop gaming, and w we will see them come to mainstream media. Tabletop gaming rose in popularity throughout the pandemic. As the months went by, uh, we actually had an influx of people um, coming to the hobby. Uh, suddenly people found uh, they had a lot more time on their hands. They were spending, you know, 24 hours a day at home and they, they needed something to do that wasn't always on a screen. Uh, so friends recommended friends and, and, and so on and so forth. And a lot of pe those people came in to try the hobby out. Anthony Yarsh is a wedding DJ who rediscovered the hobby while trying to keep busy during the pandemic. So I love this game because I'm a big fan of like strategic board games. I love playing Risk, I love playing Settlers of Catan, that's my thing. And this is just like right up my alley. I love building things because that's another part of the hobby, right? They all come in little bits and pieces. So you kind of have to, you cut them, you glue them together, and then you paint them up. Anthony Fung originally came to the game from his love of building models and miniatures. There's uh, the playing side, which is right now. Uh, you meet new good people. Um, there's a painting side, which is a huge, like, if you have anxiety or a bad day, you use paint and it just clears your mind away. And it's like you see, like, your, it's personalized, right? Like, no one else has the exact model you had you painted. You can put your own spin on them. You can have that model tell a story. So by the way you paint it, the way you customize it, and then the way you put it on a base with a different bit of scenery can all tell a story. Torchlight Games and Hobbies has a strong community of players. The game's incredibly social. Players come in not only to play, but to paint together or make use of the airbrush studio. What is great is all those people who found us uh, in the last two years. Uh, they've come to meet the people that you know they've met online. Uh, you know they've been chatting online in our Discord groups. Now they get to meet each other in real life and, and play a game and hang out together. In fact, Yarshan Fung met in an online forum and only met in person recently at Torchlight. Um, I hope these come back into popularity where we just have people hanging out here in the community space and uh, ready for a game for when that next person walks in. So come after work, bring your army, and hope there's somebody there to play you. Reporting for Halden News, I'm Nikki Wesley.